when we consume proteins, what happens? When we consume proteins, the amino acid, they are broken down into three things that is the pyruvate, the acetyl-CoA and the ammonia waste that is the nitrogen waste. Now this NH3 has to be removed from the body. So what happens is this NH3 combines with CO2 and urea is formed that is now this NH2 comes from this NH3 this C double one 2 comes from CO2 and this NH2 comes from aspartate this is the formula for urea now what exactly is happening is how we are making the urea out of NH3 and CO2 for that, we have the urea cycle. What exactly is happening? The CO2 and NH3 forms carbomoyl phosphate. Carbomoyl phosphate. Carbomoyl phosphate is formed from CO2 and NH3 by the enzyme carbomoyl phosphate synthetase and that to one. There are two carbomoyl phosphate synthetase. Carbomoyl phosphate synthetase one is used in urea cycle and it requires a cofactor which is called that is N acetyl glutamate. So by the enzyme carbomoyl phosphate synthetase 1 using the cofactor N acetyl glutamate CO2 NH3 is converted into carbomoyl phosphate. Now this also requires use of ATP. All of this is happening inside the mitochondria. Now in the liver cytoplasm This is happening in the mitochondria. Now, in the cytoplasm, what is taking place is the ornithine is now going to convert into citrulline in which this carbomoyl phosphate is going to participate. So, in short, carbomoyl phosphate combines with ornithine to become citrulline. And the enzyme is ornithine transcarbamylase, that is OTC. Ornithine transcarbamylase. Now, this citrulline converts into argino succinate, converts into argino succinate. And the enzyme which is helping it to do so is arginosuccinate synthetase. Now here is where that aspartate was getting added. Now this arginosuccinate is converted to arginine with help of an enzyme which is called arginosuccinase arginosuccinase synthetase this is arginosuccinase forming arginine and here fumarate is released now this arginine again with the help of enzyme arginase enzyme arginase converts to become ornithine and here is where 
the H2O is added and urea is made which goes to the kidney and excreted with urine. So what is the normal value of urea? That is 7 to 18 milligram per deciliter. Don't confuse urea with uric acid. Uric acid is the substrate which is important in purine pathway and what is the value of uric acid in the body that causes gout? That is 3 to 8 milligram per deciliter. It causes gout. Uric acid in excess in the body will cause gout and we are talking about urea here. So this is how the CO2 NH3 is converted to urea. What is happening is CO2 NH3 is converted to carbamoyl phosphate in the mitochondria. Carbamoyl phosphate synthetase 1 is as important as n glutamate because without this cofactor it will not be formed and then it combines with ornithine to form citrulin. Citrulin converts to arginosuccinate which converts to arginine and when arginine with the help of arginase converts to ornithine that is where H2O is added and urea is formed which goes to the kidney and excreted. This is your urea cycle by which protein nitrogen waste is excreted from the body.